First look at the stable Android 11 GSI port running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. What's up peeps, Munchy here, back with another video and exciting times ahead. We already have the Android 11 GSI port running like a boss on the Xiaomi Poco F1. This is the port by OOF Gang and as you can see, security patch September 5th, 2020. Kernel version is of course Adil's own Genos kernel. The first thing I recommend after you install this ROM is to update all the applications from the Google Play Store because you will have a bunch of applications which would need to be updated. So this is how the build comes out of the box. You do have Pixel Launcher baked in and you can of course swipe to access your Google feed. If you swipe down to access your notifications, you will see a pretty cool blur effect which Google has added in Android 11. So here it is. You will see the wallpaper zoom in and zoom out. There it is. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Next up, we can have a look at the recents. So bam, this is how your recents look like. Pretty cool. Everything is super smooth and super fast. No issues with the recents either. Now, with respect to the recents, you do have the option of taking a screenshot of the current active window and you can also select text. So let us say I select the option of select over there. Now I can select any of the text which you see on the screen. So there it is. You can see that version is highlighted and now I can either copy it, share it or search for it. And let us now try taking a screenshot as well. So let us take a screenshot of the music app. Bam. You get the new UI for the screenshot. Also, you have a small preview at the bottom and you can directly edit your screenshot from here. Also, if you select share, it will open the quick share menu. So you can now share your screenshot right away. And another feature which you get with Android 11 is to pin specific applications to the quick share menu. So if I press and hold on the messages app, I will get the option of pin messages. And now you will see that the messages app is the first on the list. And you can also know that it is a pinned application by the small pin which you see besides the M. Then you also get the new compact expanded sound panel. So here it is. The word volume has of course been replaced with sound and this panel is smaller in height as compared to that which you caught with Android 10. And you also get the new power menu to go with it. Next up, we can have a look at the quick setting tiles. So these are the different tiles which you get and you can always tap on the edit icon to add some more tiles in case you want to add any of those tiles. While we are in the quick setting panel, you do have a screen recorder baked in and it does let you record device audio and microphone at the same time. And you will of course get a notification once the recording starts. Here it is, you can see that it is recording the screen and to stop all I need to do is tap here and it is going to stop the recording. Now once the recording is done, you can of course either share it or delete it, whatever you feel like doing with the screen recording. And while we are on the home screen, we can also access Google Assistant. Bam, there it is, Google Assistant 2.0 in the building, working like a boss. Something went wrong. Please try again. That's all right, no worries. We can now move over to the settings and see what all customizations you get with Android 11. So we'll first go into network and internet, select your Wi-Fi's name and select it one more time. You will see that you have the new option of disconnect in the center, this option. Tap on advanced, you also have a toggle to enable or disable auto connect. So this is a nifty feature wherein let's say you do not want to auto connect to a specific Wi-Fi network when you are close by, you can do that using that toggle. Then we can go into apps and notifications, see all apps. Let us say we select the Chrome application, go into permissions, you will see that it has a new toggle which says remove permission if app isn't used. 
So this feature is nifty wherein you install an application, forget about it. It has access to some permissions. So it is automatically going to revoke those permissions. Now, what is the time duration for the app to be inactive? Well, that is something which I don't know. And Google hasn't specified that either. So if you do come to know about it, do let me know via comments on this video. Going into conversations, yes, you do have priority conversations. So when you get, say, a message, you can press and hold on that message and make it high priority so that it is on top of your notification list. Going into notifications, you do have notification history. So here it is my recently dismissed notifications and what all I have been doing so I can see all that. You also have bubbles similar to Facebook chat heads and this feature also works absolutely fine. Then nothing new in battery. You have the same old options which you used to get. Moving over to display. You do have dark theme baked in. Works absolutely fine and a new feature which you will get over here is you can now schedule your dark theme to turn on and off at a custom time. Previously, you had only sunset to sunrise. Now you have the option of a custom time as well. Adaptive brightness is also there. Works absolutely fine. Styles and wallpapers app. You do have some new icons which have been added with Android R or Android 11. And these are the different icon shapes which are available. Other than that, the option of clock has been removed, but do note that it has been removed on Android 10 as well. And that is something which is coming from Google. Next up, you do have on screen attention, but this feature I think is broken right now. And yes, double tap to wake is present and it works absolutely fine. We can now move over to sound. So in sound, you will see that do not disturb has some new options so you can now configure your do not disturb on a people basis in case you want to get notifications calls messages from specific people while you are in do not disturb mode you can do that you can configure it for specific applications and of course you can also configure it for your alarms and other interruptions now a new feature which i found pretty helpful was duration for quick settings so you have three different options and I have set it up to ask every time I enable DND from quick settings. So it is going to ask me what I want to do and when do I want to turn DND off. This I think is a pretty nifty feature. You do have live caption, works absolutely fine with no issues at all. And these are the different options which you get in advanced. Nothing new over here either. Next, we can move over to security. We're going to skip storage, privacy, and location because no new features have been added with Android 11 with respect to these three options. So in security, you won't find any new feature. Screen lock works, pin, password, fingerprint works absolutely fine. Face unlock is missing. Next up, we can go into system gestures. So now you only have two options for navigation. Either you use Android 10 gestures and you can also configure your left edge and right edge sensitivity or you can use the old school three button navigation now with respect to gestures everything is working pretty smooth and pretty fast as you can see there are no jitters or no lags which i can find over here so pretty impressive with respect to the gestures as well moving over to developer options you do have the option of wireless debugging and you can also enable the toggle to disable adb authorization timeout now i do not know wherein you can configure the minimum one day which they mention over here so again if you come to know about it do let me know via comments below and you can also now show your fps if you enable the show refresh rate toggle bam there it is you can see 60 appeared on the top left of the display and that is the refresh rate which you have on the poco f1 next up we can check out the new controls which you get in your notification shade so we can first go into play music and play a piece of music which I have on my device here it is now in the telegram group I did read some comments that music is lagging in the playback well let us see if it is lagging for us or not so this might be a bug right 
okay so there is some initial lag but the music did come back and i don't think so it is lagging anymore and we also have our controls in the notification shade there it is you can see they do look pretty dope out of the box and if you tap on this phone speaker option if you have another bluetooth device connected you can switch between the output of music to say your bluetooth device and that feature is working absolutely fine as well and there it is you can see live caption is also working we can now check out youtube to see how youtube works and let us try playing some fight scene from my favorite movie which is the matrix let's fight with mr smith let me reduce the volume so that i don't get a copyright strike but here it is full screen working like a boss no issues to report and you can see oh let me try to tilt my phone a little so you can see that there are no issues with respect to playback live caption is also working absolutely fine let us try to go to our home screen picture in picture mode and yes with android 11 you can now resize the small picture in picture mode and this is the maximum size you can go to but as you can see everything is working absolutely fine next up we can check for safety net so let me open magisk manager do note my device is not rooted right now and we can select check safety net as you can see safety net does not pass right now however things might be different once you root your device and enable magisk hide so what is the final take on this build well in my opinion this is a very good build pretty smooth everything works absolutely fine the bugs which are mentioned in the pinned comment i think some of them might be deal breakers for you but me personally i expect them to be ironed out within the next few months and there it is peeps that was our first look at the stable android 11 gsi port running on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you